Hi guys, today we're doing a view requested video. We're going to be comparing the soap nozzle you get with the Wiltshire SA pressure washer compared to a snow foam attachment gun that you can buy on Amazon. So we'll see which is better, what the pros and cons are of each. Right, let's get started. Right, so we'll start off first with the soap nozzle. This is the soap nozzle. That simply attaches in there, like so, and then we have this filtered pipe that attaches to the pressure washer, and that goes into a bucket of detergent. That simply attaches onto the little hook. will suck up your detergent through the pump and inject it into your water stream. The one con of doing it like this is certain things can damage your pump. So that's one thing to be wary of. If it is something that will damage the pump, then you're better to be using something like the snow foam gun because it doesn't run to the pump. Right, so I'll get this set up and we'll see what it can do. So this is it set up and for comparison's sake I'm using the same amount of detergent in both both tests. It's just a car window cleaner I'm using at the moment that I've got from Poundland. Seem, seems to work well anyway. But I watched the car the other day so... I'm going to do it on, on the windows, so yeah, let's have a look what it will do. So with that nozzle you don't really get much foam on it and it quickly disappears. So we'll now try the snow foam gun, see what difference that makes. So as you can see there, there's a lot more foam that's came off that one and it does, does stick a bit better to the window. So there's your comparison. Right. right guys, so which is better? Well really it depends what you're doing. If you're washing cars, doing stuff like that, your snow foam gun all day long produces a nice foam that lasts. Whereas if you're doing patios, stuff like that, and say your soap nozzle, you don't need foam on your patio. And if you've got a container of um, bleach that you use to remove mildew and stuff like that on patios, you can stick the filters hose straight in there, put this on your gun, and away you go. So really, it's down to what you're doing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.